Hello, my name is Jonathan Biznet, and in this demonstration I'm going to show you how to use a passive infrared receiver, in this case a motion sensor. That's what this little uh, uh, circuit does. The sensor actually senses a change in the infrared heat signature around it. So as I basically move my hand near the sensor, you'll see the light, the LED go on. And it's not light-based, uh, because even, even at the point that I'm on the other side of it, away from the light, you can see that it recognizes the, the signature. So it's not heat I mean, it's not light-based. It is entirely heat-based. Um, it uses a couple of transistors, uh, a 741 op-amp. Uh, it's got a uh, trim pot in there. And basically, beyond that, there's really not much else to this circuit other than a couple of uh, resistors and an LED. So, <clears throat> I have the schematic for the circuit here. Oops, let's zoom out here. And what you can see is I basically run the... Uh, voltage through a voltage divider and that allows me to give the 740 op amp both a positive and a negative voltage and I use it in a comparator mode so basically I look at the output from the passive infrared receiver I run that through a transistor and that transistor is what basically affects pin 2 of the op amp the other side of it pin 3 which is the comparison voltage is actually adjusted through the potentiometer which is R7 so that its voltage is very close to what the passive infrared receiver has when there's no motion around it so that basically when I get motion it changes the output on pin 3 uh, excuse me on pin 6 from being negative to being positive and that basically drives transistor Q2 to turn on the LED when there is no motion around it, the output on pin 6 is negative and keeps the transistor off. That's really all there is to this circuit. I hope you found it interesting, and I'll have some more for you in the future. Thank you.